data IQ? I would not like to do that. Uh, yes, definitely. The, the, at least one for which we have great regret. It's a company called Alan. The startup at that time it was called uh, Salesforce. We could have invested mm -hmm. like in a seed round. And as of today, Salesforce is like a what, 10 or 20 billion dollar company. So I just made that. Part. Spotify, very nice startups. I would say Alan, it's a great company, great insurtech company. Actually, I cannot pick up just one. And we have three nice portfolio companies that are now scale platform, intercloud, and a 360 learning. It's definitely uh, Criteo. It's uh, Sarji and Criticer. Algolia, which is a very successful company. We have an incredible company. Uh, his name is uh, DataIQ. They're growing very fast. They're very successful. Get the right team. Get the right executive team. Recruit the best, the best people, even if they're more expensive. To think big. To think big from the beginning. To be ambitious. Best money you can get is the one from your clients and customers, not the one from your VC. Don't bullshit. Uh, don't overpromise. Be transparent. Know your KPIs and numbers because you will have to deliver and also know your equity story. The do's is that you have to make sure that you, you strongly believe in your project, uh, that you have a, a clear vision. And the don'ts is that uh, uh, you have to avoid telling your VCs that you know everything about the market, that you are 100% sure of what you're going to develop because you know the market. And the other thing you should do is you know, be bold and ambitious because that's what we invest in, that's what we like. The don'ts, it's typically to have, uh, for example, uh, no numbers or wrong numbers, you know, in terms of BP. The last don't is to be completely unprepared on your pitch. Because we're a super ecosystem right now, we have everything from incubators, large support uh, from the state uh, for innovation. France has become increasingly uh, a sort of paradise for entrepreneurs. There's access to a lot of great funding, there's a lot of VCs out there, and even public funding as well to support you. It's quite obvious. The best engineers are in France. One third about portfolio in, in, in consumer businesses. Two thirds has always been tech, and in tech we invest in SaaS businesses, and we invest a lot in AI, which is a, really a French specificity. I mean, it's really an area where a lot of things are happening in France. We invest a lot in uh, SaaS, so uh, SaaS businesses, uh, AI, data, big data, and marketplaces. That's a typical French question, <laughs> focusing on weakness rather than talking about all the strengths. There's no way I can find weakness to French startups. A unicorn. I would just point A because I hate these terms of unicorn. It doesn't mean anything seems to me. Vanilla VC? Vanilla VC. Uh, I'm more of an AI guy, I don't know like blockchain, but uh, AI. AI. Definitely entrepreneurs or? Entrepreneurs. Uh, entrepreneurs, that's what we're all about. We are both. We're investors and entrepreneurs. <laughs> I can't speak of one.